This video is designed to help you how to install MySQL on a Mac. Overall steps, there are three overall steps to installing MySQL on a Mac. First is to identify your Mac kernel as a 32 or 64 bit. Now, don't be worried, this step is pretty easy and I'll walk you right through those steps. Second the step is to download and install the appropriate MySQL version based upon if you have a 32 or 64 bit kernel. And third is to install the MySQL preference plane to manual start and stop the MySQL server or enable it to start automatically when your Mac starts. So let's begin by identifying your Mac kernel bit. Again the first step is to determine if your machine is running a 32 or 64 bit kernel. How do you do that? You start by starting the terminal app. And where do you find that? Open the finder window, click on applications, scroll down to the utilities folder and make sure it opens and expand it. Then scroll down and click on the terminal app as you see here in the slide. Then double click the terminal app. The terminal app will start and it'll look something like this. Next, uh, to determine the kernel bit, uh, what you do is type in U-N-A-M-E or U-Name space minus A. Again at the terminal prompt just type in U-Name space minus A. And after that the Mac will tell you what you have. And here in this example I have a 64-bit kernel and thus I will download the MySQL 64-bit version. If you see I386 that means you have a 32-bit kernel and thus download the 32-bit version. So the next step is to go out to the download site uh, listed here for mysql.com downloads slash mysql and you will find if you scroll down on that page a uh, 64-bit version or a 32-bit. So based upon what you previously dis uh, discovered, download, click on the download. Now that might ask you to register uh, for the MySQL, just go ahead, put in your name and address and, and so on to um, um, start the download process. Again, downloading MySQL is no charge. Next is to install the MySQL. So after you've downloaded it, double click the DMG file, file to start the installation. Here in my example, I have the .64 DMG or you may have the .32. A window will open with four files. In this case, you want to install the MySQL package. So double click on the MySQL package as represented here. Again, yours might be a 32 versus my illustration. I have the 64. An installation will open and click continue. From here, it's pretty easy to click through the windows. So click continue at the README uh, prompt. Uh, click continue for the software license in English. Click continue. Click Agree uh, here to um, um, install the software to the terms of the license agreement. Uh, click Install and for most users you don't really need to change the install location to accept the default. Uh, if you have a computer password type your computer passwords in and then after you install software you'll get a message that will say Success in green. Now this completes the one-time MySQL installation. Next though, you need to install the MySQL preference plane. Why? This enables you to start and stop the MySQL server. We need to install the MySQL preference plane. The important thing here is you got to have MySQL running um, before you start Condor. So let's go back and double click the DMG file again. This time select the second one, the MySQL preference plane. Double click the MySQL preference plane, follow the install instructions, and note you only need to do this once. So what's next? So next is to start the MySQL server. So click the black apple in the upper left hand corner, click System Preferences, and under um, System Preference you're going to see an other row and click the MySQL icon. At the prompt you'll get just click OK and then click the Start MySQL Server button that your next one will open and it will ask you to enter your computer's password. Click OK. 
a message will appear stating that the MySQL instance is running there in greening. Now, if you want to stop it, you can click the Stop MySQL Server button. Again, you just need to start the MySQL Server before you start Condor. And if you wish, you can automatically have the MySQL Startup on Startup start automatically with that option. Our next steps are for to installing Condor on a Mac with these videos how to install Condor on a Mac and the optional but highly recommended how to install Navicat Lite on a Mac that enables you to have a GUI interface to navigate the MySQL server. So hopefully with those stop steps you've installed um, successfully the MySQL server and we'll move on now next to how to install Condor on a Mac.